No, this is not a zombie-themed spoof of an old Cary Grant movie. In this video, we're going to talk about four specific z-scores that will come up on a regular basis in statistics. So it's good to know what they are and to be a little familiar with them. It can help avoid some confusion later on when you're in a situation where you need to use one of them. Now, previously we discussed how the area under the normal curve between a plus and minus one standard deviation was 0.683 or 68.3% of the normal distribution was between one standard deviation above the mean and one standard deviation below the mean. And because z-scores are just how many standard deviations a score is above or below the mean, this also means, <laughs> no pun intended, that 68.3% of the distribution is between a z of positive 1 and a z of negative 1. Likewise, we also saw that the area under the normal curve between plus and minus two standard deviations was 0.954 or 95.4% of the normal distribution was between two SDs above the mean and two SDs below the mean or between a Z of plus two and a Z of minus two. But instead of knowing the Z-score and figuring out the corresponding area, there are times when we know the area and want to figure out the z-score associated with that area. As we'll see later, this often involves identifying the z-score that, that bounds specific proportions of the distribution. Remember our magic words, the uh, plus and minus z-score that bounds or contains a, a given percent, right? And in that regard, there are a few specific values for that bounded area that are regularly used later on when we get into inferential statistics. But let's just point them out now so that you can get a little familiar with them and the corresponding z-scores, all right? The first of these is a z of 1.645. And that's the z-score that bounds 90% of the distribution under the normal curve. In other words, the area between a z of positive 1.645 and a z of negative 1.645 is 0.9 or 90% of the total distribution. Now technically, it's 1.6449 so you'll often see this rounded to 1.64, even though you may look and think it should round to 1.65. No, it would round down to 1.64. So again, 90% of the normal distribution is between a Z of positive 1.645 and a Z of negative 1.645. And because the normal curve is symmetric, right? That also means that the remaining 10% is split evenly between the areas that are beyond plus and minus 1.645. So 5% of the distribution is above a z-score of positive 1.645, meaning 5% of the people or cases or whatever we're studying have z-scores above 1.645 and 5% of the distribution is below a z-score of negative 1.645, meaning 5% of the people or cases or whatever we're studying have z-scores below negative 1.645. So that's our first z to remember. The next one is z equal to 1.960 or just z equal to 1.96. And that's the z-score that bounds 95% of the area under the normal curve. In other words, the area between a z of positive 1.96 and a z of negative 1.96 is 0.95 or 95% of the total distribution. The remaining 5% is evenly split in the area that's beyond the plus and minus 1.96. So, 
two and a half percent of the distribution is above a Z of positive 1.96, meaning two and a half percent of the people or cases or whatever we're studying have Z scores above positive 1.96. And two and a half percent of the distribution is below a Z score of negative 1.96 meaning 2.5% of the people or cases or whatever we're studying have z-scores below negative 1.96. Right? So that's our second z to remember. The third is a z of 2.576, and that's the z-score that bounds 99% of the area under the normal curve. In other words, the area between a z of positive 2.576 and a z of negative 2.576 is 0.99. The remaining 0.01 or 1% of the distribution is evenly split with one half of 1% above a z of 2.576 and one half of 1% below a z of negative 2.576. So that's our third Z to remember. The fourth and final one that we'll point out in this video is a Z of 3.291. And that's the Z score that bounds 99.9% .9 of the area under the normal curve. <laughs> that's all but one one thousandth of the total distribution. I mean, if we did the calculus, we would find that the area under the normal curve between a Z of positive 3.291 and a z of negative 3.291 is 0.999 or again 99.9 percent .9 of the total area. The remaining 0 0.001 or one-tenth of one percent is evenly split with we would guess 0 0.05 percent above a z of 3.291 and 0.05% below a Z of negative 3.291. Now, I know it, it doesn't look like there's anything there, but there is. It's just really, really small, all right? And that's our fourth and final Z to remember. So there they are. Now, as I said, these will come up a lot in statistics particularly the first two that are highlighted in blue, the, the Z of 1.645, or again 1.64 if you round to two decimal places, that bounds 90% of the distribution, and the Z of 1.96 that bounds 95% of the distribution. Now, we'll come back to these Zs later in a big way. At which point you'll hopefully recall, oh yeah, that was one of those Z's to remember. And you'll be a little primed as to what exactly they are and which is the correct one to use. All right? Take care. Bye-bye.